Okay, it is another top five in five, and this time it's hybrids, the best hybrids that I consider to be the top five for 2019. Right, okay, very quickly, we've got five minutes on the clock and it's ready to go. But just to mention again, as I have done in every video that I've put out so far, that I've tried and tested all of these products that I mentioned, it's a first-hand opinion. I've also considered that of the team average when they've had a little bit of a go of these as well, and that's been thrown into the mix. That's where our top five is from. That's the start button. We've got five minutes to get through them. So let's start off with number five, and it's from Taylor Made, and it is the M6. Um, don't forget M5 and M6 released this year, but for me, the M6 was by far the standout product in terms of, well, across the range to be quite honest with you, but in terms of the hybrid, most definitely, it looks superb. Again, we've got this uh, split crown, which um, we've seen a lot now from the tailor-made range, and I think it looked really well in a hybrid. Framed the ball really, really nice indeed. I had a great feel, and I found the shape as well and profile to be very pleasing on my eye perform really well out there in the field as well, which is all important. Uh, but only number five, I'm afraid. Into number four, and it's from Callaway, and it's the Epic Flash. Now this one came about a bit later on in the year. Um, again, I think quality of build in terms of how it looks is really, really good, even though I'm not keen on the color scheme that they adopted in the Epic Flash range this year. Uh, but in terms of how it looks, it's a quality product, but it came with a big price tag as well, which would be one of the negatives. Um, but in terms of performance, it was a beast. I mean, it absolutely, um, again, if you're putting these in the bag, it was really a case of how you'd fit them in because the ball just flew off the face. They incorporated jailbreak technology into the hybrids for the first time, I think. Um, but whatever they did is irrelevant. It produced incredible ball speed, great ball flight and launch conditions, and was an all round really, really good product. So yeah, in at number four for Callaway. Number three, top three, as ever with this, has been really difficult to split, but I'm gonna put in the Gen 2 uh, PXG hybrid. And again, for a lot of people who won't have tried the product, and I think um, what I would say is, it was a real surprise for me, the Gen 2, range in terms of drivers and fairways and hybrids from PXG was a real change. A, in a price point move considerably this year, but I think the product improved significantly as well. Um, and it was a real good, the hybrid was a, 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 a real standout product in there. That and the fairway for me was so versatile. Great feel out of these things, so different than anything else that I'd experienced in terms of from what sound, I suppose, what you'd expect to get from um, from woods, fairway woods and hybrids. And that was the real big difference. And again, performance wise, it was fantastic. Um, but the difference why it stood out and why it's number three was for me, this unique sound and feel, which again, is a personal preference thing. But for me, I really, really liked it. And it was a great, I, I, I've used, I've tried on a number of occasions it, and I pick it up in, in four golf quite often. And it's such an easy club to use. Downside is, why is it number three? Well, again, PXG will always fall down that list based on the price, I'm afraid. So that's in at number three. Number two, how long have we got left? We've got plenty of time. But anyway, a massive, massive release this year and success was for Cobra. And their F9 everything did particularly well. But the F9 Speedback Hybrid again, uh, with its T-Rail system on the bottom, um, tested this one midway through the year, and again, a real eye-opener. It performed exceptionally well. Looks-wise from the top, I'm not a great fan of the finish that Cobra put onto the clubs, if I'm being honest with you, but it could be overlooked based on their performance, because the performance far outweighed it. And again, the massive tick in the box here was what they did in terms of the price point. The price point was significantly lower than whatever else was in the list so far. So for me, you combine those two things, and they had a real winning product range uh, this year, Cobra, but certainly the hybrid was a great product as well. But the number one slot is up for grabs. And the number one slot came in, it was a very late entry into this because it, up until recent weeks, I'd never even tried it. And it just shows we should not be dismissive because it's gone from literally zero to hero in terms of where it's come from and where it is now. It is Mizuno and it's the fly high range of potentially, I don't know whether you call them hybrids, but certainly um, it's in this slot. I can put it in there is uh, <laughs> because, I, because I have. Um, but like I said, it's a unique look to it. And I think, I like I said, I only tried it in recent weeks and I was amazed at how good this was. 
And I tried it in kind of like, I've tried it in uh, four, five, and seven, I think I've tried it in, in terms of giving it a go at four golf chest. I keep picking it up. Just great all round performer. Looks superb from the top line. I love the dark finish in terms of the gray black combo. Uh, I love the, the white lines into the face, frames the ball superb. It is so easy to hit. It's got extremely good sound and feel. Again, well, that's a personal thing, but I love the sound and feel. Slightly more muted, slightly softer sound, which I prefer. Again, it was very consistent in terms of ball flight, in terms of numbers. It did everything. Almost got there. That is the five minutes up. Almost got there, but I will finish. You couple all what I've just said and then stick a price point in of 120 quid and it's by far the best uh, away the best value hybrid if you want to call it a hybrid and for this uh, top five we're going to call it a hybrid on the market by a mile and it is uh, it is the winner this year of the average golfers top five hybrids of 2019 well done Mizuno as ever these reviews or this top five is very subjective it's about my personal little preferences little nuances that i can separate these these are all very very good products i really do think that the point is what is your favorite what's been your favorite of 2019 stick it in the comments box down below if you haven't tried any of these then just based on looks and what you've seen what would be the product that you would like to try and like to stick in the bag out of the 2019 hybrids that you've seen uh, in this past 12 months as ever Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. We probably ended up being about six minutes, but there you go. See you soon.